All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Well, they released an update once again, three o'clock in the morning, at least for me in the US, three o'clock in the morning, 0 0.154.1. And there's been some stuff that has changed. Now they fixed a couple major minor bugs uh, about some events that have never been triggered. So they say it's interesting because they say, uh, please welcome two new events. You're being hunted and the horde is attacking. But if you look at their actual bullet points from the fixes, uh, there is a wolf hunt event that has been fixed. And there is the um, fueling army event that has been fixed. So it seems like those have been in the game, but they've been broken. And so they're not really new. They're just something that has been resolved. And uh, to have a bunch of wolves hunting you down or to have the folding army uh, running you down at your base, I, I don't know how I'm excited about that idea. I, I am. I, I really, really don't. Uh, some of the other things that have been changed. So there was some cape issues that happened. Uh, and uh, it would cause like some strange deformation on the, the cape. Uh, if you jumped and that's been fixed, there was a user interface change that it was uh, resolved when you hit escape in specific sections. The troll ground slam can now be blocked, which is kind of cool because beforehand you could not block that. And that's one of the things you just had to run away from. But now it can be blocked, which is nice. Uh, the longship repair and build sound effects have been fixed. And then the wolf cape durability has also been fixed. I didn't know that there was an issue with the wolf cape durability, but I'm glad that it has been resolved. There's been some resource timers that have been fixed. The berries and the flint the now should respawn correctly. I don't know what the respawn number is, so I don't know if it you know increased or if it decreased. So it wasn't working before correctly, but now it is working correctly, but they don't really say if that time has gone up or if that time has gone down. Uh, sea serpents will no longer flee on low health, which is fantastic. I, I hated investing time killing them, using up arrows, and then having them just run away. So now they no longer run away. They they battle you to the death. Uh, fixed an issue with ship containers not closing properly in some uh, situations. They also fixed some of the terrain issues uh, where now, I mean, before when you raise terrain, it was kind of spiky. Um, they now made it, you know, more smooth and less pointy. So maybe that's going to help us as builders that, that wanted to make that flat foundation. Uh, maybe that'll help us a little bit more and not have to deal with that difficult pointy terrain that they introduced when they did the terrain update. They fixed some water particles and water surface clipping issues inside of the boat. You know, you, when you were in storms, the water would just absolutely go over the boat. I, I'm hoping that that's completely resolved because that was always kind of annoying to look at. Uh, there's better fermenter feedback when it's exposed. So it's, so it's now going to give you a little bit more information um, before, probably before when you place it down, letting you know that it's exposed or not. And they also tweak some sound assets to reduce the amount of RAM. I'm glad that they're optimizing some of that stuff. And finally, uh, the covered rock should no longer look wet during the rain. So if you have some a rock that's covered, uh, that will no longer have uh, whatever the water effect, uh, a shader or whatever associated to it anymore. Well, that's it. That's it for the update. You know, let you guys know we haven't seen any big changes to the mods. If you're using mods uh, yet, I'm sure that there will be mod updates. The Patreon server that we are running that has 20 something mods uh was able to fire back up without any issues so for those of you that are heavy modders or are using a lot of mods in your game hopefully you won't have any issues because we didn't see um any issues at all one minor issue but not that was it uh and so hopefully you guys don't have any problems with that as well all right, well, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.